Hey y'all, welcome back to Elk Week. What a week it's been. I hope you guys are enjoying these videos that we've been shooting. I'm back here at the Easton Archery Complex and uh, just wanted to give a quick shout out to today's video. Last year, we sent out kind of a challenge, if you will, to have you guys submit your videos to be showcased on our channel. And today is the day. We have gone through several submissions and we have narrowed it down to three winners. So I wanna congratulate each of you guys for getting your video selected for today's video. And I also want to put the invite out for next year, 2024 by May 1st is the deadline. If you guys want to showcase your video on our channel, we're gonna extend the invite to you. What we're looking for is real raw elk hunting footage, something that captures the emotion of bow hunting and um, perhaps you could be featured on elk week in 2024 so with that guys enjoy the video and best of luck to you this season Chances.
see my wife.
that shot him. I won't ever get a shot like that ever again in my life. Except weed him more. That was unbelievable. <laughs> I've never experienced anything like that. <sighs> I want that bowl so bad. Oh, that was unreal. I had it right on his shoulder because I was like, I'm gonna weed him. And then I think he gave a little two step and just. Oh, there you go. The best experience of my life. But man, I have a bad, bad feeling. Oh gosh, I pray that, that he just hunkers down and bleeds out. We're gonna go back to the house. Just to let that guy try to bleed out as much as he can. Hope for the best. It, it's the worst spot to ever be in as a hunter to shoot in the guts like that. Feel bad for the animal. It's the worst. But we're gonna try to wait him out. And we're gonna hide down and then come back up at around four in the evening and try to get blood. I feel so bad. I hate doing that to animals. Well, we're going after him now. It's been about five hours. Let's hope we get it. We got a long hike up. I'm going to track the blood here. I haven't found much. The liver shot should go good blood trail for about 100 yards. Then yeah, it dies off. Lots of calves and cow footprints covering them. So, hoping to find it soon. Just trying to search for his tracks and his blood trails. We think the group split up into two, so that'll make it a lot difficult. First drop of blood about 150 yards away from where I shot it. Very excited about this.
Oh, yes! Yes! 74 yard shot right now. He's down. Look at that guy. He's down. Yes! Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, what a day. Oh my goodness. We did it. Yes. Buzzer beater last morning. Dude, last night. Thank you, Lord. Oh my goodness, we tracked that thing for a while. Man, what an emotional roller coaster. I can't believe that. <laughs> Holy boy. <laughs> a bowl of a lifetime for me. Oh, that's nice. Let's go. That is a buzzer beater bowl. <laughs> that is the best. Hey, this is Mux Hunts. This is who we are. We love family hunts and glorifying God through it all. And um, for these videos, it's really just a basis of remembering these memories and keeping them the rest of our lives. And hopefully you get a little taste of it also. The best. So fun. camping tonight 
Um, we can't camp at the trailhead where we're going to pack into, um, but we're just down the road from that. So we're going to set up camp and get our bags out. We're just going to sleep next to the truck tonight until we go hike in in the morning. So that's about it for right now. We'll catch up with you guys in the morning. All right, so we're about halfway through our hike right now. Um, it's about 10 miles in total. So this is our first full day out in the field yesterday. We just, as you guys saw, we just got here and set up our bivy and went to sleep. So now we're hiking into our spot. We got about five miles left, Dev, right? Yeah, just about. Yeah, so about five miles left on the hike. Um, our packs are about 60 pounds with all our food and gear and everything, so a little heavy, but not terrible. So we'll uh, keep you guys updated and we'll let you know when we get there. All right guys, so we just dropped our packs. Um, we're pretty exhausted. And turns out you go and hike 10 miles into the back country and the spot you wanted to camp in is taken. So uh, we just had to come and find a different campsite. And so this is probably where we're gonna be camping at for the next couple days. And then whenever those other guys move on, then we'll maybe go move camps to where we were at last year. It's a pretty nice spot right next to a lake able to do some fishing right there, have plenty of fresh water, and it's not too far from where we were hunting elk, so I don't think we're going to hunt tonight, probably just get things set up, relax a little bit, and then go out in the morning, see what we can find, see if the elk are where they were at last year or not, so remains to be seen. We're just getting started for the morning, kind of a late start to the day. We were pretty tired, so... We decided to get some rest and we're out here for a long time, so we have a couple weeks to get this done. Playing the long game. So we're gonna go check the spot that we really hunted a lot last year and that oh, Braden and I didn't get a bull, but um, our two other friends that we were with, they got bulls in that spot. So we're gonna go check that spot and see if there's any sign and see what it looks like go check it out so we're getting in closer to where we think they're at found some wet elk shit here it's still damp to the touch and his smush is pretty good that's for you honey guys well nothing out of this spot today so we're gonna start hiking back to camp where we have a little bit of light left because we have a decent walk ahead of us and then tomorrow we're gonna go 
check out a different spot in the basin <clears throat> where I've seen and called to elk before as well. So check out a different spot tomorrow and keep hitting different spots till we find them and get a response. So we'll find something and it just might take a couple days. Date. We went and sat this morning, called and called and called, and didn't ever hear anything, didn't have anything come in to us. I just don't think the elk are in this basin right now. I don't know if it's because they haven't been uh, pressured into here from another basin, or if the, the feed that they want right now isn't here. I'm not sure what it is. Um, I think that tomorrow we'll go and check another just kind of section of the basin that is secluded and see if we can find anything um, but we we called Oliver and talked to him and I, th I think it looks like we're gonna end up packing out of here and then going into a different area kind of a, a backup area that we have we've covered about three quarters of this basin in the last couple days just hiking and calling and hiking and calling and you know, even even with not getting responses, we're just not seeing the sign that should be here. So, yeah. so yeah, that's the that's the update for you guys. We're just enjoying some lunch and probably we'll take a nap this afternoon and then hit it hard tomorrow. Go check out the last area that we haven't checked here. Kind of just check that box, make sure we're not missing anything, and then probably end up packing out. Hey guys, so I'm just out here doing some scouting by myself, trying to find some elk. I'm searching in the last little bit of that basin that we were talking about. Um, if you can see like right there where the mountains start, where that ridge starts turning like that, that's the very back of the basin. So I'm basically gonna hike back up into there and then I'm gonna turn around. There's a couple more spots on the way back that I'm gonna hit. And that's pretty much it. And if there's not any elk there, then we're kind of SOL in this location. So that's just a little update for you guys. I don't have a whole lot to show. I'm just walking around looking for signs. So if I see something, you know, really interesting, I'll update you guys. But until then, um, I'm just walking around. So I'll see you guys eventually. Devin, guess what I just found? Screaming bulls. Really? Yeah. Look how we're at. All the way in the back of the basin. Really? Yeah, dude. How many? I'll, I only heard the one, but I stumbled across another elk on my way back. But he responded to you? Yeah, he was responding to me. I'm just enjoying my breakfast. Yeah, I can see that. I just hiked like it's seven miles <laughs> in a matter of hours. <laughs> oh, man. Nice. Well, thank you for doing that. Oh, my gosh. Dude, I'm so excited. Yeah? Yeah, but I kind of need to, to rest because I just hiked seven miles in four hours. I'm a little, try get me on the radio? a little beat. 
No, I wanted to surprise you Dang. back at camp. <laughs> Dude, right. I'm so stoked. All right, we're getting ready to leave camp here and go chase those elk that Braden found yesterday. Um, it's a little chilly out. It's not too terribly cold, though. So, yeah, that's the plan for today. Spend all day out there chasing those elk. Hopefully we get an opportunity at one, and even better yet, hopefully we get one. We'll see what happens. Yeah. But that's the game plan, hiking in the dark. So that's always fun, especially when you're off trail. So anyhow, we'll catch up with you guys probably sometime around when it gets light out. Good shot. <laughs> There he is. Oh, there he is, guys. We yeah. just stumbled across him. <laughs> that is a confirmed bull. Look at that. He is a raghorn, but I don't care. I'm super happy. I, I think he's a nice raghorn, though. Yeah. For an open unit raghorn, I think he's pretty freaking cool, dude. For how much crap we had to go through to get to these things, it's worth it. 
Why don't you hold up that rack and let me see it. Show the world. All right, guys. Let's see it, dude. Oh, man. Yes. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Not a, not a huge bull, but he's my first bull ever, so I'm pretty stoked. For an over-the-counter tag in Utah, pretty excited. Dude, it's what so an awesome. adventure. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome, dude. Good stuff, man. <laughs> It is two o'clock in the morning and Ben and Joe just got here. We're headed up for the last three days of archery season to see if we can get a bowl in for Ben. You ready, buddy? Born ready, buddy. But that's the only reason he's ready. <laughs> <laughs> for a crappy start to the day. 10 out of 10, definitely recommend taking your bow. <laughs> Pull the button and magic. 2.30 in the morning. All right. I think breakfast yeah, looks good. We're here. It's time to get up.
Bridget's squawk that along. And we heard something get up and run a little bit. And I was pretty sure it was a bull because I could hear horns going through the trees. So Joe started uh, squealing like a calf. So I kept getting closer until I had about 21, 22 yards. And Joe kept calling and moving away. And then pretty soon you can see just the top of its head. And then about when I thought I was going to step out, I drew. But he stuck his nose out about the time I was at half draw. So he stepped out, gave me just enough, like his full head and horns, looked at me and then took off. So that is what it is. It's still fun. It ain't much, but it's honest work. <laughs> it's just fun being out here, man. I've only ever got to call in three bulls. Um, and to have it be a first for him is just, I mean, I'm tickled pink. It's a, it's a hoot. It didn't exactly, you know, necessarily go the way we wanted it to, but, you know, we're out here and we're learning stuff and trying new things. Getting out, getting pretty close, evidently, so we're going to keep hammering and sooner or later we'll be successful. We were squirting down this ridge, maybe like a mile above the road, and it was maybe 15 minutes of light left. The bull lights up maybe, I don't know, 300 yards up the ridge. And so me and Ryan take off running. Joe lets one rip again, and then you hear the bull view, and we ran like right underneath him. He's in a bunch of reprog. The bull kept screaming, he started coming down the hill a little bit. So me and Ryan kind of started working back up into the trees, and we maybe had five minutes of light left. And I look up and I can see just like the left side of a bull's head and then just a little bit of his horns. Maybe 45 yards, he's just staring at me. There was actually a couple bulls, I don't know how many were in there. And the other bull screamed again up on the top of the ridge, but a little bit later we didn't have any light at all. Nice frosty morning. How are you doing this morning, buddy? I'm alright. How's the band? We ready to stick one? That's great. Got a bugle in the 200 yards now?
power pack, the truck finally. And heard be two bugles all night, so we're gonna make a game plan for tomorrow and see what happens. On today's episode of What Are You Putting in Your Body? The chef operating the mobile microwave, i.e. jet. It's really hard work. I slave over it for like a minute and a half at a time. After a couple of games of cat and mouse with that bull, we never did catch up to him again. We found a close by wallow with fresh sign and just hung out for a few hours. Three days of elk season, we were blessed with some pretty amazing action and a bunch of close calls for Ben. But unfortunately, we just weren't able to help make it come together for him. We hope you enjoyed tagging along with us. 
No worries Over oh, nickels and dimes Over oh, nine to five grind I gotta get loose sometimes In trouble 